Hey guys, Ryan Kearns here. Thank you so much for coming. Today I just wanted to bust a little myth that I've, that's I've that been around in the Lyme disease community for some time now. And you know, all myths deserve to be busted, so I'm ready to bust this one right open. And that is that you can only get Lyme disease if you live in a certain part of the world. You know, a lot of people say you can only get Lyme disease if you live in the Northeast United States or you can only get Lyme disease if you live in Pennsylvania. And that's true, it is very prevalent in those areas, but Lyme disease is almost everywhere. Here's the thing, 300 different species carry the Lyme disease microbes including Borrelia burgdorferi and many of its co-infections. 300 different species from birds to reptiles to mosquitoes to ticks there's a lot of animals that carry it notice i said birds birds fly they migrate everywhere lyme disease is as prevalent in the south as it is in the north and there's different strains and species and subspecies down there however lyme disease is not geographically centered there are cases of Lyme disease in other countries and other types of Lyme disease are everywhere. So pretty much there's an, you know, there's an Asian one, there's an English, British one, there's, there's literally Lyme disease is everywhere. It's in Australia. While Lyme disease can be found everywhere, there are differences in the symptoms that you'll experience and the case of Lyme disease depending on where you contract it. Right, so if you get Lyme disease and you're living in the south of the United States, it's gonna be different than if you're in northeast United States. The symptoms will be different, the co-infections will be different, the disease itself will be different based on where you live. So it's different in different people, but it exists everywhere. Lyme disease specialists should understand Lyme disease in the area where their practice is located because this makes it much easier for them to treat the symptoms and understand their patients and what they're going through and the symptom patterns and when they'll arise if, they're, if they understand Lyme disease that's specific to the area that they're in. However, patients, you know, people move, people travel, so they can contract Lyme disease in another country and, so, and show some crazy different symptoms in where they live. So the doctors need to be ready for that and understand that they're different in different geographical regions so that they can be ready and treat, uh, you know, treat on a per patient basis. As all things Lyme, every single person is different. Lyme is not Lyme is not Lyme. It changes from geographical region and from different strains, species, subspecies, co-infections. They're all different for everybody. So this just adds another layer of complexity where it's different based on where you live or where you contract the disease. The one other thing that I want to touch on is if you're in an area where they don't suspect Lyme disease is very prevalent and you have Lyme disease, they might completely misdiagnose you and you know completely just brush right over the fact that you might have Lyme disease. And this is just a complete shame and it's it's quite it's disgusting really that it could happen in the medical community where a doctor would deny your symptoms um, and tell you that you don't have a disease that you might have just because of where you live. Um, if that happens to you just know this we know ourselves better than any doctor knows us okay if you feel like you have Lyme disease you're probably right now it's not a good thing to be right that you have Lyme disease, however, at least you'll know what you're dealing with and you'll start to understand the steps that you can take in order to get better. If they keep denying that you have Lyme disease, it's time to find help somewhere else. So again, trust your instincts. You know you better than a doctor knows you. If you think you have Lyme disease, treat it as if you have Lyme disease and start immersing yourself in the community that can help you heal from Lyme disease. There's different people that do different things and they have their stories, they have their, their ways of healing. And you can pull a little from each one of those and create your own healing regimen like I did in my journey. So if you think you have Lyme disease but you're not getting treated the way you should, then you know take it upon yourself. It's time to take control of your life because you know more about you than your doctor knows about you.
So to recap, Lyme disease is not geographically centered. It's spread all over the world, so you can't really run from it. You can get Lyme disease anywhere in every country, any state, anywhere. So be aware, let people know about it. Lyme disease awareness is an extremely important thing and it should be talked about much more often than it is because there's so many people that just don't understand this disease and they just don't get it. So I just wanted to make sure that I got that myth off the table. Lyme disease is not geographically centered, it's everywhere. It's carried by 300 different species. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Hey guys, it's Ryan Kearns. Thanks for watching that video and I hope you pulled something from it and got value from it. I just wanted to let you know that I recently wrote an ebook that details my story of my battle with Lyme disease and how I healed myself with diet, herbs, and healthy conscious living. It's called Lyme Wars. How I counterattacked Lyme with nutrition, herbs, and healthy conscious living. If you're interested, it's actually completely free for the time being. And you can click on the link below or go to lifenutrition.com to get your free copy. If you like what you saw in this video, push subscribe below. And thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.